We're with Mining Journal and Mining Magazine's 2021 Tailings Program. And today I'm with Matt Trinan, Director at Patterson & Cook, a global leader in high-level consulting and engineering of tailings handling, and particularly slurry systems. Matt's joining us from Denver, Colorado. Hi, Matt. Hello, nice to meet you. Yeah. Uh, Matt, I understand Patterson & Cook has extensive experience with tailings, uh, with offices around the world, operations around the world. So what are the most common challenges that your clients have been coming to you recently to help them solve? Sure. Um, you know, we, we really get involved in, in projects on, on two different fronts. Um, and that's, that's really looking at, you know, greenfield operations where it's a new, new mine or new TSF area being, being developed. And so we'll get in, into the sort of the consulting and engineering that goes into that. Um, and, and in terms of those challenges, it's really understanding what sort of technology is, is available and what makes sense for the, the project, particularly in the early design stages, you know, really a, a conceptual and PFS level of, of looking at, you know, what makes sense for this particular operation. Um, the other, other aspect of, of our work and, and what we do is, is getting involved with with existing operations and, and brownfield sites and, and going out and troubleshooting what's what how to improve their their operations um, you know and that might be a, a dewatering circuit that's not working correctly um, or high wear in the, the slurry transportation and, and pumping side of, of the systems um, and so we get in, involved in those aspects as well um, so it's really both you know high level High level analysis and, and design and engineering in, in the study phase and and then also troubleshooting and, and retrofits in the, the operations phase. And uh, what are some of the solutions you're providing on both those fronts on the greenfield and, and also the brownfield improvement of tailing site um, front? Sure. Yeah. Um, and certainly dewatering tailings is 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 you know very much in, in focus now. Getting the water out of the tailings is, is one of the key the key uh, avenues to in, ensuring a reliable TSF design, you know, at post discharge, um, and, and certainly a lot of, of focus on that with the you know, some of the recent failures in recent years. Um, and so, like I said, we we really get involved in in a couple of different aspects in terms of you know how can we how can we. Uh, um, uh, or what sort of solutions we provide um, for for dewatering tailings, um, and so if we kind of look at at sort of a, an overall holistic view. You know, very early we get in, involved in in projects at, at the study stage, concept development for these these greenfield operations, and you know that's really taking a, say a, a ten thousand foot view of of the scenario and the landscape that that is uh, available. And working very closely with with you know geotech partner firms and, and TSF design engineers to, to really understand what what actually makes sense uh, for the the dewatering of tailings. I mean, you know how how dewatered do you really need to go for this particular application? Um, you know, filter tailings is is very much in vogue right now, and there's there's a huge amount of, of emphasis and, and focus on filter tailings, but are there other solutions available that that uh, are lower cost or, or more fit for for that particular purpose? Um, you know, because as as you get in every incremental step you make in, in the dewatering process, you know, it becomes more difficult to dewater and, and by nature more more expensive to dewater. You know, so like I said, we, we get involved in, in early studies of this 10,000 foot view um, in terms of, of Kind of what what actually makes sense and for the life of mine and 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 for that particular operation um, you know as the the project advances into next stages we certainly can get involved in you know the full engineering and design of, of a particular dewatering system um, whether that's that's a, a thickener operation or a filter tailings operation uh, you know, our, our roots are in, in slurry transportation, so we have extensive background in, in the, the slurry pipeline pump and, and design, pipeline pump and pipeline design um, to get the tailings where it needs to be. 
um, you know, and so so completing the full engineering of of those systems um, through the through the design stages. Um, as we as we dive down into you know further and further, I mentioned the you know assisting with with site audits and and retrofits of existing systems. So maybe that's a you know a thousand or a, maybe a hundred foot view of of the system where you're you're looking at okay this is what they have installed how can we make it better uh, you know maybe there's been or changes or variations in properties and and they're not getting the dewatering that they need you know how can we optimize that maybe that's retrofitting old thick, thickener technology uh, maybe that's looking at the pump selection um, throughputs increased through the the tailing system and maybe the pumps. Are no longer appropriate maybe the pipelines are no longer appropriate um, they're getting excessive wear you know so so looking at those very specific applications um, in terms of, of optimizing systems um, particularly in, in focus of you know the dewatering a lot of it is, is thickener operations um, you know filtration operations so the last point i wanted to to touch on is is really maybe looking at a, a one foot view and that actually might come come into play before we even start with the you know the high level holistic view, and that's really looking at you know the lab scale testing of the materials. You know, most of our our offices have labs adjacent to the to the office, so that the the engineers can get get out to the lab, actually look at the material, see what how it behaves, you know, understand the properties and you know, the dewatering behavior. And look at, at alternate talk technologies in terms of splitting splitting the sample into you know coarse and fine fractions or or other options, you know, on, in terms of optimizing the overall system. And so you know we get very much hands on looking at the fundamentals before we we dive into a lot of this other analysis. These are labs uh, spaced around the world then where where, where you have offices. Um, so yeah, that's, that's right. Time. Yeah. Um, I think I think almost every one of our offices, and we have nine different offices um, throughout the world, and almost all of them have a lab uh, associated with it. So. Great to provide uh, case studies, examples of these solutions in action. Um, sure, yeah, certainly we have, um, you know, we've implemented a number of, of systems globally from from conventional tailing systems where there's there's not a lot of, of dewatering occurring but uh, you know reliable system design of, of, of tailings transport and you know as as the technologies advanced and 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 grown we've certainly seen a, a lot of the development of of uh, dewatering technology you know, and, and that could be any anything as, as basic as a, a cyclone or a, a screen to start pulling some of the water water out. You know, very very easy and and kind of crude way of, of dewatering material. You know, and, and we've done quite a quite a number of, of cyclone analysis and, and design and implementation of you know cyclone tailing systems in the, the southwest western United States and, and South America where they're actually using that cyclone material. Uh, for dam construction um, and, and in the process of cycloning, dewatering the coarse material. Um, you know, we have, we've completed uh, countless uh, numbers of, of thickener audits to help improve thickener operation, anywhere from conventional thickeners up to, to high rate and, and paste thickeners to, to troubleshoot them and, and get them back to, to operating where, where they should be operating. Um, and so there's, you know, countless countless examples of that. Um, you know, certainly filter tailings is 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 we've seen a lot of interest in filter tailings over the last couple of years. Um, we're we're in the process of of implementing a, a filter tailings system um, in Mexico, a fairly small scale operation where they're where they're filtering the tailings um, and then depositing it into a mined out pit. We also implemented a paste backfill system for them a couple of years ago. Um, so they're also not only you know, storing the filter tailings on surface, but they can also put a huge number or you know, a huge amount of it back underground um, for the to meet the mining requirements of the underground mine. Um, similarly, we're also working on a, a filtered tailings plant um, for a, a 
power plant operator here in the United States. Uh, maybe a kind of a non-conventional, but certainly similar filter tailings up application. Um, and then, you know, another, we, we assisted with another filter tailings operation in, in Canada a few years ago, where they've actually taken incremental steps, um, where they've gone from conventional tailings, moving to, to thickening, thickened tailings, um, and then working to close out their, their tailing storage facilities by just depositing thickened tailings um, into that facility and, and you know, filling in some of the, the lower voids uh, within the, the facility and, and reducing some of the earthworks and, and also you know, getting comfortable with the, the thickening before then moving into to fill their tailings here in the next year or two. And I think that that plant is underway as well. Uh, you know, so quite a number of, of dewatering applications and, and filtered plants uh, in progress right now. Yeah, thanks for um, talking after how Patterson and Cook are uh, uh, providing solutions for dewatering at both uh, greenfield and brownfield sites. Thank you. For sure. Yeah. Have, uh, great to talk to you today.